So this is the slicer from uh, Univex. Today we're going to be using this incredible slicer, both precision, great quality, and also has a lot of safety features that most don't uh, have. What we're going to do is easily just pull this up. This is like a teeth grate. We're going to take our eggplant, put it on top like that, and I like to slice it whole with the skin, probably a number two. That's that. Thin, perfect every time. Okay folks, so now we're gonna get started on this incredible eggplant dish that we're gonna be doing, which is basically an eggplant parmesan. My way with a little bit of a twist. Uh, you can see that I, I like to use the slicer and cut really, really thin, long slices on the eggplant because I think that that is the way to do this. And we're gonna flour egg breadcrumb, uh, but not too much breadcrumb. You know, we don't want more bread than the eggplant. And then we're gonna fry it with a little bit of olive oil, put this, some incredible sauce on there that we got working. our tomato sauce we're uh, going on a little more than uh, two hours here you can see chunks of garlic in there uh, and this is obviously the basis for what's going to be uh, coating our eggplant parmesan here a lot of oil on top uh, the key to this is simmering it now nice and uh, nice and slowly but uh, we're almost there probably about another hour flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Now the thing with the breadcrumbs here is you want to make sure that it's half panko breadcrumbs, half regular like 4C seasoned breadcrumbs or something like that. Uh, and I always fortify it with a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese that I throw in there too. That's also like a secret in there. And then we're gonna flour, egg, breadcrumb, and then fry. Then we're gonna fry golden brown on both sides. Okay, now I know normally people like to use this cheese grated, but I like to get some nice thick slices just with the knife like this and let it melt on its own. And you know, this is really just a waste of time, especially with things that are gonna be baked for the long period of time, because that, that cheese is just gonna suddenly ooze out. Now we're using two different kinds of cheeses here. We're using polio mozzarella, only polio mozzarella, and then we're using extra sharp cheese. Now you could use any extra sharp cheddar cheese that you like. It just gives it uh, a nice little flavor. And then of course we always sprinkle with a little bit of Logatelli Romano cheese. So let's let's slice some of this up. And again, you wanna, you know, thin slices. This, this will nicely melt throughout the whole entire eggplant here. Layer each side with the eggplant. And of course coordinate with a little bit of grated cheese. We're using grated cheese mozzarella and uh, got a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese. Put the sauce on top. I always put the cheese down first. Sauce on top, 375 degrees for about 30 minutes. This looks like a good amount of time to cook a, a casserole this thick. You know, no eggplant is ever the same, so uh, cooking times are different. 